Okay, so what we got today, we've got the Torque Motorsports. I'm gonna slip my hand in here. This is a Torque Motorsports boost solenoid upgrade. It's designed for replacing the factory boost solenoid upgrade. You know what? I'm gonna right there. So we got a connector back here. We got two boost hoses. Now one I'm gonna point out right from the word go, is if I can get my hand down here. You see that right there? Yeah, that's a factory line on the factory solenoid. Um, we were just doing a little bit of mock-up and I broke that. I've done four or five of these and that hose just seems to break every time. So, if that breaks, don't worry about it. We're going to show you how to go about dealing with that. So, what we're off to is getting the boost solenoid upgrade done. So, my hands are going to be in, way, in the way for a good portion of this. So, we just don't got a lot of room to work with. So, I'm going to reach down here real quick. And what this is, is on a little rubber bracket. So, hopefully Matt can get in there and see the rubber. See how the rubber's on there? See that? See how it's isolated on a little rubber bracket? So what you do is just grab and pull straight back. It slips right off there. So now you gotta get to the connector. Oh, where's the connector at, man? Um, let me try to get my hand down in there. Okay, there we go. See that connector? A little push tab on it. I'm gonna reach down in here, push on that push tab, pull it off. Okay, on the front side, there's another boost line. So this front side boost line goes directly to the turbo. Okay, so we've got to make sure we note that. So connector side, you know, I gotta make sure you keep these, these two lines separated. So, wonderful. Yeah, I'll try to yell over the compressor. So we've got the boost line here. That goes directly to the compressor cover. The other one goes to the wastegate solenoid. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pop this off I've already pulled the, the snap, the little clamp off. Uh, long set of pliers like this come in really, really handy for reaching down here and just moving that thing back and forth. So, long set of needle mills will come in handy. Okay, got that popped off. Now I'm gonna walk this thing out. All right, so we got the boost solenoid and we got our upgrade. Okay. This goes like that when you put it in, okay? So, little bronze filter up. This goes over to the wastegate. Bottom one is, sorry, this one comes from the boost pressure on the front cover. This one goes to the wastegate. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off. And we're gonna transfer it over to this. So, slide the connector through. It's a bit of a tight squeeze. Shall I put a little lubricant on there? Push it forward until those wires on the back are clear. I like to push it forward right to where it hits the black and the silver. The black and the silver meet. So, there you go. So I'll put a little bit of lubricant on the inside of this so we can slide it forward. Okay, a little bit of lubricant on the hoses doesn't hurt either. We've already done that. Next I'm gonna show you how we deal with this broken piece. Okay, so. Okay, so, you see that, Matt? Mm -hmm. So you got this little broken piece right here in the end of the hose. It's okay, go through, use a set of side cutters, and just cut like a quarter inch off of this. They use some sort of glue on this fit, particular fitting from the factory, and it just never, I can never get these off without breaking them. So you come through, just clip that off, if you can get it to clip. There you go. Okay, so cut that little piece, well, buy a little piece. Get that little piece, and now I'm gonna get down in here, I'm gonna spray a little lubricant on that hose so we can slide it in. Yeah. There's just absolutely no room to do this video and not drop stuff. 
So, okay, so now I'm gonna go through and put the lines on. Okay. Bottom line goes in. Get that seated all the way down. Now I'm gonna sneak this past that AC line so I can get on that with a pair of pliers. Get that connector out of there. Can you still see that, Matt? I know it's way down there. Let's see if I can pull this up a little bit so people can see it a little better. Okay, see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so get in here. Grab with it. Needle nose. Slide that all the way up onto the connector. Okay, got that one on. So now we got to work on the second hose. Connectors out of the way. Okay. Okay. Second hose, there it is. Okay, so now we got the second hose here, we got to get lined up. Like I said, guys, there's just absolutely no room for you to see the video. We are trying to do our best. Okay, so we got the second hose up here. This hose plugs directly into right there. Just like so. Get down here with your needle nose. Slide that all the way up. Okay, now we can come forward. That rubber hose, I'm gonna pull my hand out. I'm gonna try to show you from the left side. Okay. Uh, all right, so this now, slips onto this little bracket down here. I'm gonna point at it with my finger, and this slips on through that little slot in that rubber bracket. There we go. Okay, so now we got the boost holes. I'm gonna put it all the way back on, slide it all the way down the bracket, Last step, connect the two boost, the two connectors. And get this one out. All right, so a little bump on the connector, engages with the lock on the top, push them together. There we go, clipped and engaged. Take that line, wrap it down underneath, make sure it doesn't touch anything. We've just gotten the Torque Motorsports boost control solenoid upgrade. And again, sorry about the video quality, it's just such in a tight, tight area. It's incredibly difficult to get clean video and good quality, but we got at least the install video done for you guys.